Come on, Fuzzy. We'll go smelt some lead. All right, guys. So uh, yesterday went by the tire shop, picked up what wheel weights they had, got them sorted yesterday, and uh, it's cooled off this evening. Got a little cloudy. Got my fan down here. Thought I'd get them smelted in the ingots. And so uh, this morning, had to uh, take the wife's car in for a recall over in the next county and at the dealership. And that put me real close to one of my favorite gun stores. So I swung in there to uh, pick up some Winchester 231 to try in the 40s and I was in there looking around and uh, they had the new Rossies in stock talked to the guy there I bought a lot, bought a lot of guns there throughout the years and uh, he was saying they were finally getting them now uh, 20 inch round barrels stainless blued 357s and 44 so I got a little video footage while I was in the shop not much but I'll roll it in here so uh they look good i noticed one of them the the forearm and the stock were pretty different in shades of stain there was just one like that so you know if you order offline and don't get to pick it you know that might happen uh, but uh, the rest of them look good and uh, they had a Marlin 1895 cowboy in there 26 inch octagonal barrel uh, it, was a, it was a newer one and I've been hearing reports that the latest ones they've been putting out are, are pretty good uh, uh, Buffalo Outdoors has one Plowboy's Ghost has one and you know, they know what they're talking about, so I take their word at it. I believe they're good. And so, uh, I was looking at this one, and the wood to metal fit wasn't good. And yet it was brand new. They hadn't had it in long. And when I looked at the serial number on it, it was made in 2011. And so I think that's what's happening still to some guys. They're getting these new old stock guns. You know, thinking they're getting one that's 2016 or later, and you know, so uh, I just left it alone. Uh, if I could find one of the latest ones in a gun shop uh, where I could actually see it and check the serial number, I'd probably buy it because you can get them for around 650, and that's about half the price of a JM, and it's just going to be a shooter to me, nothing collectible. Uh, because if I'm gonna pay 1200 for one, I'm just gonna put a little more with it and get a an 1886. But I do want the the Marlin, so I'll keep looking. But uh, check those serial numbers. Just because you're buying a new gun doesn't mean it's one that's you know 2016 or newer. It it could be one of the older ones. So anyway, just a little rambling. We get this melted down and those melted and some pure lead and we'll see what we got. All right, so the first pot full yielded uh, 35 pounds of clip-on wheel weights on my old bathroom scales if they're right. My wife said these, these scales weren't right, so that's why she gave them to me. So I don't know what that's about, but uh, got 35 pounds that go around. All right, so I'm finished. Out of uh, a bucket and a half of mixed wheel weights, I ended up with uh, 65 pounds of clip-on wheel weight ingots, 30 pounds of pure lead ingots, 95 pound yield out of a bucket and a half. That's good stuff. And that is enough smelting and rambling for the day. Y'all take care.